So today we'll begin a simple primary care review on the hepatitis B infection in pregnancy. Hepatitis B virus infection during pregnancy can affect both the mother and fetus. Acute viral hepatitis is the most common cause of jaundice in pregnancy. Symptoms are usually mild and not associated with an increased mortality or teratogenicity. Acute hepatitis B virus occurring early in the pregnancy has been associated with a 10% perinatal transmission rate. An acute hepatitis B virus occurring at or near the time of delivery has a significantly increased transmission rate, which can be as high as 60%. The risks of HPV. Pregnancy is usually well tolerated with chronic hepatitis B virus without any advanced liver disease. Pregnant women with cirrhosis are at significant risk for perinatal complications and poor maternal slash fetal outcomes, such as intrauterine infections, intrauterine growth restriction, premature delivery, and intrauterine fetal demise. Other to child transmissions can occur in utero, at birth, or after birth. The risk of mother to child transmission of the hepatitis B virus is 90% if the mother is hepatitis B surface antigen positive and the infant does not receive any HPV vaccine or passive immunization, such as the hepatitis B immune globulin vaccine. The risk of transmission is increased in women who are hepatitis B E antigen positive and or have high levels of HPV DNA. Preventions of mother to child to transmission would include screening pregnant women where HB surface antigen should be performed on all women at the first prenatal visit. First further testing includes the hepatitis B E antigen, hepatitis B E antibody, and HPV DNA and amino transferase levels. You would repeat the HPV viral load testing around weeks 26 to 28, and the patient may need antiviral treatment if the viral load has increased. And lastly, the hepatitis B virus vaccine would be necessary if the woman is at high risk for infection. Newborn immunization Newborn should receive the hepatitis B immune globulin and hepatitis B virus vaccine within 12 hours of de delivery at different sites. Infants should then complete the hepatitis B vaccine series, where birth rate weight greater than 2 kilograms or 4.4 pounds. The second and third doses should be given at 1 and 6 months of age or while birth weight is less than two kilograms, three additional doses should be given, one at one, two, and six months of age, or at two, four, and six months of age. Testing for the hepatitis B surface antigen and antibody should be performed at nine to 12 months of age. Management or treatment for the mother would, ha would have liver function tests every three months during pregnancy and for up to six months postpartum. Treatment of acute infection is mainly supportive and antiviral agents such as lamivudine would be necessary. Breastfeeding, infants who receive the hepatitis B immune globulin and the first dose of the hepatitis B vaccine at birth can be breastfed. Mothers with chronic hepatitis B who are breastfeeding should also exercise care to prevent bleeding from cracked nipples. Carrier mothers should not participate in donating breast milk. And that concludes this presentation.